back again with another really interesting video guys and in this video we are going to discuss a very important offering that has been given by Hugging Face once again that's called as Auto Train Space Runner. So guys if you guys have been following my channel for some time or if you have seen my Auto Train videos before you might already know what Auto Train is and how amazing it is. But if not, then I would just explain you in brief that auto train is a offering that is given by Hugging Face to train your machine learning models very quick and in an easy way. There are two ways that you can use auto train. One is a Python module that you can use as a command line argument to basically, you know, just provide certain parameters and, you know, hit on run on that command line and you can start training your model. But another way is that you can actually use Hugging Face Spaces. So you can actually create a new Hugging Face Space and you can select Auto Train here. And then in this space, you can specify your model and your hyperparameters to fine tune on. Just, you know, provide the data set that you want to fine tune on. And then you can start training your model without even knowing uh, any sort of programming or any command line if you have no software experience no programming experience then maybe this is the best way for you to go uh, but that's how auto train works it basically helps you fine tune your machine learning models but what has now been introduced by having face is something called a space runner and in this video guys we are going to discuss what is that and how we can actually use it so let's get into it so one thing uh, is uh, which, which I basically told you guys is that if you're using a user interface, if you're using a hugging face space, you're actually training your model on the hugging face server, right? You're not training your model or you're not fine tuning your model on your own machine. But if you're using a Python model, if you're using the uh, auto train advanced uh, Python library, then in that case, you are actually training the model on your own Google Colab or on your own local machine, depending on where you are running that command. So for example, this Google Colab uh, notebook, you can see that if I am running a pip install command here, it is actually installing this uh, module on my Google Colab. It is not installing it on a Hugging Face Live server or somewhere else. It is installing it on my Colab. Or if I run it on local, it will install it on my local machine, right? Now, imagine the case when I'm actually trying to install something or I'm trying to train my model using auto train or something like that. And uh, something happens, my internet crashes, my laptop crashes or something happens that actually disrupts my training of my model, my installation or something like that. What is going to happen then? You actually lose all your progress, right? So to prevent that, it is actually best that you don't train the model on your local machine. You can actually train it on a Hugging Face server where actually it is, uh, you, know, you know, it's reliable. You know, it's always running. It is not getting any disruptions. And moreover, you can actually track your progress on that server. You can actually track the logs running. You can actually review those logs later in the future as well. Whereas if you're using Google Colab, you will get these logs, you know, for now. And once you refresh it, you are going to actually lose these log. Or if you lose your notebook or, you know, if you rerun these cells again, you will actually lose the previous logs. Which, if you are running on a, on a live server, you might not because you will always save the old logs, right? So, that is basically the case here, guys. So, what we are trying to do is we still want to use our command line arguments to actually train our model. But we don't want to run those commands on our machine. We want to run this command so that they can train the model on some other server, some other remote server. Okay. Now imagine how powerful this is. This basically enables you to actually create a whole machine learning model release pipeline. Because now you can have a script that is first of all running the space runner um, that gives a command to start training the model on a remote server. And that script which is actually training your model is also now capable of pushing your model to the Hugging Face model hub. So in three steps basically you have you know, sent a command, sent a signal to the remote server to start training. 
the remote server has started to train the model after fine tuning you will you are also sending a signal you know automatically for it to push that model to the hugging face hub and now once the model is pushed into hugging face repository you can now easily you know if your model gets pushed in the hugging face repository you can use this model to actually you know create inferences create your own bots or whatever you want to do okay so this is a very powerful way guys to actually set up your own machine learning model release pipeline now we have introduced a lot about how we have talked a lot about auto training we have talked a lot about what is space runner and uh, you know why is it beneficial it is time to see the real life action it is time to see how we can actually use it right so let's look into an example so if you want to use space runner first of all you do need auto train advanced installed here so that's why i have written pip install auto train advanced and after that guys you actually need a uh, file called a script.py so uh, wherever you are running the space runner you need to have a folder there and that folder must have a file called a script.py what is this script.py so think of it in that way guys the space runner is basically sending a uh, script sending a program to be run on a remote server but where is that program that program that code is present in the script.py so space runner basically tries to find a file name called script.py and it runs the entire code inside that file on the remote server of hugging face so that's why it's very important that you must have a file called a script.py on your machine wherever you are running the space runner now this is the command of auto train space runner guys you basically get auto train space runner project name now what is this project name this project name is nothing but the uh, hugging face space name so this is going to actually create a space in my hugging face account which will be named as my space runner then you have got your script path you have got the script path with this folder path you can name the folder as anything just remember that the file name must be script.py then this is my username this is my hugging face token now comes the backend now if you guys have been uh, seeing this user interface <coughs> you can see that uh, we have got multiple hardware options in our auto train user interface right or in auto train space uh which is uh, because we are running the training on hugging faces uh, remote server so if you are running on a free server you don't pay anything but if you are running on a gpu or a heavy server you might need to pay something so this is where you select your hardware you select your backend now because space runner is also running your command on the remote hugging face server it needs to ask you okay are you do you want to run this on a paid server on a paid offering or do you want to run it on a free machine right now in this case you can select the backend that you want to use now there are multiple backend options that uh, space runner provides which are there in this uh, post that was given by uh, hung face uh, you can see that the number of available backends are present here you have got the free cpu basic one you have got the cpu upgrade you have got the t4 small etc etc right so based upon your need you can actually specify the backend here which i have specified right then comes the argument which is nothing but just a certain padding or some formatting which is not that important but basically uh, all the other options are very very important and they are the ones that you kind of have to specify right now if i run this command guys you will see that these are the logs that i get i basically do not print any log of training my model you can see that there is no log of training my model or in this case i am running a script right so it should print the number from 0 to 99 here but it is not going to print any of that because space runner is not running the command on your google colab it is actually running it on a remote machine so it is only going to give you a job id it is going to give you a job id it will also create your data set repository it will also create your uh, hugging face space uh, repository but it will only give you a job id for you to track okay 
and uh, what you have to do is you have to go to that space uh, in your uh, hugging face account and start tracking from there what is happening and where is my script running basically right now i cannot show you my hugging face token guys so that's why i'm gonna pull it this file aside and i'm going to put the token inside this and then i'm gonna run it right so now i'm actually running this command and i will now show you uh, basically how the logs have uh, how the logs will start to come so you can see the logs have started to come now and it has basically given me a job id which is super lazy coder auto train my space runner right so i've got my job id now now it's the time to go to my hugging face account so i go to my hugging face account and you will see that a space has been created which is called as my space runner and this space is also building now so i am going to click on it and you can see that i it's okay so this was just very very fast but you can see that if you go to logs and you go to build click on log scroll and go to container you will see the logs have appeared and these are the logs basically you can see that it ran my script.py and it printed all the numbers from 0 to 99 right and it just finished right it just finished uh, actually uh, it just finished actually running so because we are not running any heavy script we are just printing 100 numbers that's why it was a little bit too fast right but this is where you get the gist from guys i basically created a script and I just ran a command, but that command didn't run on my Google Colab. It actually ran on a remote server. Okay. And all I have to do is just give few parameters, give my hugging face token, and that is it. Now, now that you have gotten uh, used to this, how we can use hugging face space runner and what's important uh, arguments to provide to that command. It is time to actually look into the real time use cases of it for which I actually use space runner. So the use case that I actually use space runner is basically to train my model. So you can see that here, it's the same thing I have done. I have just done auto train space runner project name. This time my project name was my space runner seven. My script dot pi I have then I gave my token, etc. etc. Right. But and I also got my job ID when I ran this, right? I got a job ID which was again okay, super lazy coder, my space runner seven, right? However, if you look at this script, guys, you can see that this script.py is not the simple for loop that I was using before, but this script.py has basically, uh, you know, a training and testing data set. And I'm actually training a model on the Yelp review full data set here. Okay. Now I will actually take you to uh, my account and show you this my space runner seven. So if I go here, you can see that this my space runner was the space that I actually used to train my model. And I'm going to show the logs for it. And you can see that these are the logs. And it took a couple of hours because obviously I used the free CPU version to train my model on. But in the end, it actually trained my model completely. And not only that, it trained my model, it actually uploaded my model uh, to hugging face hub as well so if i go a little bit down you can see that this test trainer model is the model that i actually uploaded using my auto train space runner command okay so this is the real time use case of a space runner guys you can actually use space runner to train your model on a remote server through command line on your local server and this is how you can set up a complete end-to-end -end machine learning pipeline with just some automated scripts to make sure that your model gets fine-tuned, gets uploaded to Hugging Face, uh, uh, Hugging Face model repository, and it all goes, you know, in a very smooth, uh, smooth manner. And not only that, I just showed you that you can actually track the logs, right? You can actually uh, check the logs of your model training, of your previous model training as well okay so 
uh, that was it guys that was the video of how you can use auto train space runner to actually train your models on a hugging face live server instead of on your machine uh, but again using a uh, python command line okay so i hope you guys like this video guys i hope it uh, made your uh, knowledge a little bit more about how to use uh, hugging face auto train and if it if you did like this video guys then please do not forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and if you have any questions comments suggestions feedback for me please do write down in the comment section below i would be really happy to address all of them and uh, also guys if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications of more such programming and code related videos i'll see you guys in the next video guys until then take care and bye bye